All right, you guys, it's July 11th, 2019. As always, I record observations every single day. The thing that helps me battle depression the most, I've noticed, seems to be exercise. When I forget this, I tend to start overeating, drinking alcohol, or overdosing on my meds. Twice today, I jogged for one hour at 10.25 a.m., and then again at 7.20 p.m., just to, you know, push off depression, yay. That seems to work, and I forget that frequently. So today I went to the convenience store and brought more protein. I spent 700 or 500 baht. I did a little audit, so I made sure there's exactly 6,500 baht in my envelope. My chocolate milk fund, I spent 200, 2,000 baht. I also audited that. Remember, the point of taking the point of keeping account of stuff is so that you can hold yourself accountable or others can hold you accountable. Others can audit you or you can just audit yourself. Because at the end of the day, the saying goes, the philosophy is, the philosophy might be wrong 5% of the time, but 95% of the time the philosophy is true. You absolutely cannot whatsoever manage what you don't measure or won't measure or don't get around to measuring because you basically fly blind. You're absolutely clueless what's going on. So start small. I started with, hey, I gotta pay my rent each month. I don't wanna be stressed out about that. I don't want my wife and kids to be stressed. I wanna be a good father, so I'm gonna put money aside for my rent. Go me. <laughs> and like I said, I have a tendency to abuse drugs if I don't eat 200 grams of protein a day and stay in great shape because if I'm not in great shape I get depressed and then I turn to drugs and self-medicate Thus I need to set aside money for eating right which is actually pretty expensive if you don't want to just eat junk food all day That's all simple carbs. I Don't know why I'm shouting either like, <laughs> sorry and Anyway, so I checked my, I have two bank accounts, Capital One 360 and Bank of America. I pulled up on my phone and checked today, that's the audit today, the $200 had transferred from my current or my checking account, from my Capital One account. So I deducted 200 on the 206, which means there's $6 in my checking account, my Capital One account. And in the future, when I go to like see what the heck was going on in the past, I know that I audited it. That way if someone steals something or if I make an error. Anyhow, I like to bling out my envelopes. It makes me actually keep my envelopes and they, they avoid getting thrown in the trash. So here's my crazy wife giving me the like, the oh wow, you're fit. Here's one of my little brats, uh, or my little girly girls, um, at a water park. And I feel super self-conscious about taking off my shirt. So basically, I'm probably not going to go to the water park with my kids as much if I'm not in great shape because I feel too embarrassed. That's the protein fund. This envelope. My brother Joe said maybe I should stop drinking so much coffee, so I thought, fine, I'll drink chocolate milk. It seems to be helping. There's a picture of chocolate milk. There's a picture of my wife, Sakang, and Sohi. Here's my rent envelope. It's a picture of my little office and my little shrine. And, um, although if, as if my life wasn't borderline depressing enough, I gotta remember to set us. I have to travel to Myanmar. I, remember, I don't remember. I, I don't recall if you recall that I said that in my last video blog, Financial Kindergarten. I'm calling it Financial Kindergarten because I'm basically starting from scratch. I always considered myself the very best bureaucrat in the room. And I always had this saying, the best bureaucrat always wins. Or the person that's able to be the best general secretary basically has more of a clue of what's going on than everybody else and has a better capability of managing what's going on than everybody else and thus does so and thus is such and such is so. Again, I'm not sure why I'm shouting. 
So to avoid depression, because traveling makes me depressed and stressed and I tend to overeat or drink alcohol, I thought maybe I should do an hour of cardio in the morning before I take a three hour train ride. And then when I take a three hour train ride, I have to spend probably about $8 in a cab to get to a hotel. And I'm gonna go ahead with a $20 hotel in Bangkok, which is way, 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 way lower than my personal standards. Those hotels are scary. But I'm trying to live below my means because if I live above my means, it stresses me out. So I'm basically purchasing a $20 scary hotel room where there's like suspicious substances on the wall and there's only three channels and I'm scared to touch anything in the room. But I also need to live below my means because I have to go to Myanmar to renew my visa. So I roughly know that there's gonna be a $10 cab ride from the train to the hotel scary $20 hotel next day $10 cab to the airport $40 then when I come back to Bangkok $10 cab ride to the scary hotel again and then the next morning $10 cab ride to the train the train is $1 it's US so right there I gotta take about 80 bucks out of my travel fund and right now, my travel fund with the 3,000 baht altogether is roughly at 389 US dollars. So with my Bank of America debit card, I'm gonna be paying for one night scary hotel, and then again, one night for super scary hotel. So I got, I'm gonna be taking about 40 bucks at a 283 from my Bank of America debit card. And I'll just show you for the heck of it, a little mini fridge. I got my, I was at Vietnam and my hologram of earth. So that's the 200 baht chocolate milk that I just bought. And that is right there, a bad habit I have. I still like to drink no calorie Coca-Cola because of the caffeine. There's the 500 baht worth of protein, the 200 grams of protein each day, which keep me from being like somebody who just consumes candy all day and wonders why they're fat. Here's my desk. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, like I told my mom, when I talk about finances, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, and I could go into it. But anyways, like um, the Leakins get really good when I talk about personal finances and talk about like taking care of your kids and being a good example to them. So somewhere in the back of my mind, I'm pretty sure Top Wiki is being completely controlled by women. The usual. Again, I'm not sure why I'm shouting. I, I don't even feel angry. I just, I feel like... I don't even really feel frustrated to be honest with you. I'm just sort of sharing with you like when I do finances, I just find it somewhat intense. I used to drink a giant bottle of wine whenever I did finances. I don't anymore. So I go in this sort of like intense mode where it's just like mm, audit this, audit that, like mm, gah, gotta spend money here, gotta spend money there. Like argh. anyways, um, I promised myself over three days if I did two hours of personal finance and two hours on the letter to my girly girl, girls, that I would do two hours on Top Wiki's business plan. So basically, I've done I've already done two two hours of my personal finances. Here's more of my personal finances. I've done about an hour and let's say ten minutes on letter to my girly girls. So probably tomorrow, I'm going to try to spend 50 more minutes on the letter to my girly girls, and then I'll work on Top Wiki's 10-year business plan. So hopefully we'll have Top Wiki's 10-year business plan done over the next nine months. And you can see what it looks like when somebody's basically thrown their life away to doing drugs and then goes to rehab for five months, gets out of rehab, and they're like, all right, let's try again. Let's start from zero. Let's audit things. Let's start keeping account of what's going on so we can be accountable to ourselves so we don't need other people to audit us. And you, I could go into that. But um, later, I love you all so much. You all are so smart and kind. And um, 
I'm so grateful for your Leakins to Top Wiki. Uh, I really, really am. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this video. <laughs> I love you all.